Hey everybody, this is Nabil Mula here today to show you the Ninja Hot and Cold Brewed System. This is a personal coffee and tea making system from Ninja. This is model number CP307. It's the top of the line model that Ninja makes. The box pretty much explains everything that this has to offer. Let's show you all about it. It knows between a bunch of different types of tea and it steeps it accordingly. Another great thing about this machine is that it's got a frother built into the side, and I'll show you that in a minute. You can see it down at the bottom of the box. A fold away hot and cold frother. Transform hot or cold milk into silky froth in seconds. And it really does work well. And it's super easy to clean too. So this machine has six different brew sizes. Doesn't use pods like a Keurig. And the six sizes are a full carafe, a half carafe, a travel mug, and then a super tall regular cup, and then a tall cup, which is about, I wanna say maybe 15 ounces, and then a smaller cup. And then as far as how you like your drinks, it has advanced thermal flavor extraction with auto IQ. And this just explains more about that, an entire menu of coffee options, through everything from hot flavorful cups of coffee and frothy specialty drinks to naturally sweet cold brew and vivid over iced coffee. And it explains the different types Classic coffee is a hot, flavorful, and never bitter cup of coffee. Rich is richer with more intense flavor than the classic. Over ice is vivid, authentic flavor that's never watered down. And the new fresh cold brew, which is ready in 10 minutes, will give you smooth, naturally sweet cold brew flavor. And then the super rich concentrated specialty brews. You can brew lattes as well as cappuccino and macchiato style coffee house specialties. And then on the tea side of things, there's even more possibilities. This tea maker will take loose leaf or bag tea, which is super cool. So you can have a classic cup of tea, which is a perfect balance of sweet and bitter, a rich cup of tea, which is a more intense flavored brew than classic, over iced tea, which gives you a crisp, refreshing drink that's never watered down, ready in 10 minutes, fresh cold brew tea, a smooth, naturally sweet, thirst quenching brew, and the super rich concentrated specialty brews of tea craft everything from spicy chai lattes to sweet matcha masterpieces. Okay, this side of the box shows you the science behind their brews. So the over ice cold brewing gives you the choice between coffee and tea and their expertly programmed brewing system, which will run the perfect number of steep cycles at an accelerated lower temperature to give you a smooth and naturally sweet glass of cold brew. And then it goes on to compare the Ninja cold brew compared to the traditional cold brew. And then of course there's the over ice hot brewing, which is an on-demand hot brewing process designed to create vivid and refreshing iced coffees and teas that are never watered down. And their secret is that they brew hot over ice at double strength to lock in authentic iced coffee and tea flavors. And it's all automated. So the automated brewing technology is a one-touch drink creation. You can have any delicious drink combination with a push of a button. It shows you a little chart of precise temperatures, heats and keeps water within precise temperature ranges for coffee and tea. And then it shows the variable blooming and steeping for coffee and tea. The Auto IQ knows how long to bloom your coffee and how many steeps your tea needs for an incredibly balanced flavor. And it also gives even saturation of your coffee and tea with their XL shower head designed to evenly saturate coffee grounds and tea leaves for uniform flavor extraction. And this right here is the precision brewing coffee and tea settings. It's the selector which tells you which you have selected as far as classic, rich, over ice, cold brew, or specialty. And this, this dot right here shows you there's a thing that folds down if you've got a single cup of coffee. Here you can see it in this picture here. Uh, it gets tucked away when, when you're doing a full carafe or a half carafe. But if you're just doing a single cup of coffee, that folds down and you set the coffee cup on there. Here we've got a double walled thermal carafe, which will keep your coffee or tea hot for up to two hours without a warming plate. Built onto the left side of the machine, on the outside here you can see it, is the Ninja Smart Scoop. It's got a small and a large scoop, which will accurately measure coffee or tea for every size. Up here you've got a swivel brew basket, which will swivel out so that you can empty your old grounds or tea leaves. And over here on the left side again is the fold away hot and cold frother, which will give you nice hot or cold froth in just a matter of seconds. Basically you just stick your cup underneath and you press the button and it starts frothing. And then it just twists off so that you can take it to the sink and wash it off. Super easy. Okay, so on the inside of the top of the box, you've got the flaps with more instructions and more info. Two sides to the scoop. 
The Ninja Smart Scoop takes the guesswork out of measuring. Coffee measurements are on front, tea measurements are on the back. Chill out with iced drinks. Number one, fill. Fill up your cup, tumbler, or carafe with ice. Number two, scoop. Scoop coffee or tea into the brew basket. Tea bags are welcome too, just put them in the brew basket. And number three, brew. Cold brew or over ice, depending on how quickly you need it. And there's their website, ninjakitchen.com. And we've got a Ninja Quick Start Guide, which shows you everything that you need to know to get going right away. Before your first brew, you're gonna wanna clean it out. Depending on what size coffee or tea you want, you're gonna choose your scoops. Then you're gonna choose the size on the coffee maker. Then you choose a brew style. And after you choose a brew style, if you're having tea, you're gonna choose your tea type. And then the last thing is to press the start select dial to begin. And if you're having one of the specialty coffees or teas, no need to choose the size, you just do the specialty option. And if you're having tea, you choose which type of tea it is. Here's directions on how to use the frother. Cleanup is also super easy. It features an automatic drip stop, which is nice. 40 irresistible coffee and tea recipes. Mexican spiced coffee, mocha, ninja chino. Zen green tea, and lots of other ones. And here's the main owner's guide. So this owner's guide comes in several languages. And inside the box, we've got the frother attachment. This is what comes off after you're done frothing to uh, take it off and clean it. Here we have the tea filter. Indicated by the green and the tea leaves here. There's the inside. Just like that is how the brew basket opens and closes. It just pulls right out. You can take out the filter and clean it. You can also take out the entire thing. So basically there's two parts to the coffee and when you're using the tea, there's just the one. The filter is built into the bottom of, of the tea. The scooper just pops right off, pops right back on when you're done with it. Super easy way to store it and not lose it. Here you have the different measurements right on there so you don't forget. This is the coffee side of measurement. And on this side, you've got the scoops for tea. So you can't go wrong, super easy. Right over here, you've got the fold out for your frother. And the frother just goes on here and twist, and you're good to go, nice and easy. And this stays on here when it's not in use. Over on this side, you can see the water reservoir when it's time to fill. Just pops off like that. The lid flips open, you just pour your water in through the top. The lid does also come off for when you want to clean this out, make it makes it easier. But mostly the lid stays on. Fill it, fill it up to the max line right here with water. Close it up, this slides right back on, just like that. It's nice and easy to grab it, the way they've got it designed. Lift it up to empty, or to fill it up. When it's full of water, push it back down and there's a nice tight seal at the bottom. It's a nice machine, it looks pretty nice. There it is with the craft in it. It looks nice and modern and sleek for your kitchen. You won't be ashamed to have it sitting out. I'm gonna show you how this thing operates real quick. I'm gonna make one of the specialty drinks that this can provide for you, a vanilla chai tea latte. And to do that, I'm using three Twinings chai tea tea bags. Again, that's a nice thing about this is that you can use bag tea or loose leaf tea. So you just pop it in to the brew basket, close it up, and it'll know what it is that we want, which is tea and not coffee. So to get it started, you press the power button, and you can see it automatically knows that we are brewing tea. And here you have your choices. Uh, special tea is already lit up. If I wanted to change that, just turn that cold brew over ice, etc. Back to specialty we want. Even though this chai tea is actually black tea, it recommends that you set it to herbal because of the things that are in there with it, with all the spices that are in there with it. So, but if I wanted to change that, I would press this tea leaf 
and now that herbal is flashing and the same selector button now will cycle through the different kinds of tea. Okay, so we have it set to special tea and to herbal and we just flip this down, set our cup here and we are all set and just push the start button. This will indicate where it is in the timeline. Once it gets to the end, it's finished. It'll also beep when it's finished. We're also gonna need to use the frother for this, so that'll just flip out from the side. And the recipe calls for the milk to be steamed, or it calls for it to be heated in the microwave. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna set that for 30 seconds in the microwave just to warm up the milk. All right, so while the tea is still brewing, I've got my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cup with about a cup of skim milk that I've heated in the microwave for 30 seconds. Also have my bottle of French vanilla syrup ready to go. I'll go ahead and start frothing. Just stick it under, press the button. A few moments later. Try and get you to see this. It's really expanded all the way up to the top of the cup. It's nice and foamy. Just clean this off in the sink, ready to put it back on. Ready for the next time. And just like that, it's finished. And the automatic drip stop has occurred. We just take our foam, pour it right in. And we'll get our three pumps of syrup. Two and three, and just stir it all together. And we're done. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll catch you on the next episode.